I'm Mark, uh, Mark Serafim. I work at Meta on PyTorch. Uh, for the most part of my day, I spend my time like maintaining open source production tools like TorchServe, TorchData, TorchX, and a bunch of other random things. Historically, like the, the, the set of users that do model training versus infrastructure management are different. Yet we expect users to really be familiar with both parts of the stack. Deploying a job against it, getting the logs back, getting the status was, was relatively trivial. And, and I think it's because the Ray team did sort of a, a good job with setting up all the base primitives to, to, to make my work easy. What was the key challenge that Ray helped in? Well, I, I would say like the main one that people really struggled with was like just in general infrastructure management. Like I want to set up a cluster. That, that's kind of a pain. For the majority of users, like they have like their script, like their train.py. And they just like want that to run and everything else feels like this like extra stuff they need to do. So that's where I, I thought like Ray really sh like shined. And it was like the, the setting up the cluster, deploying the job against it. And specifically for scenarios like distributed training, like those are even kind of even more of a pain because people need to come in, they need to create several machines, SSH into it, make sure that they can talk to each other. I think at this point, somewhat of a, well, not maybe not entirely a solved problem, but certainly like 10x better than we were like a couple of years ago. Kubernetes was a technology that while very powerful and while certain advanced users like love it, they'll say like, no, like, this is the right way to do infrastructure. It's great, like this is what you should do. I personally found Ray to be far more usable.